Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. We'll be continuing in our cyberpunk journey. Let's go. God, I feel sick. Don't like this at all. This porcelain bitch is the worst kind of news. Can you chill for two secs? We go in, we talk, we leave. That's it. She emptied the place. Shit. Excellent. You have come. Let's step to it then. Before we discuss details, I feel I owe you an explanation. I must tell you why I changed my mind and wish to help. Weren't sure of anything. If you could trust me, if your Nobu killed your father, now... I knew. From the start. You... knew? All the board members knew. Not one soul even slightly interested in the matter believed in the poisoning. Details were disparate, inconsistent. You knew, but didn't do a thing about it. Why? Suddenly sprout a conscience just yesterday? My father had flaws. I know this. I harbor no illusions about it. When a foe needed removal, my father ordered it without a thought to mercy. A way of being Yorinobu could not abide. But to my father, ends ever justified means. Saburo Arasaka has always valued just one thing. Do you know what it is? No idea. Family. Our family. I was to be its heart. To uphold life. Ensure continuity. Stability. Never to oppose it. Huh. Guess your Nobu's instructions were a little different. Yorinobu raised his hand against our father. But he is an Arasaka. He is family. I do not expect you to understand. I wish you merely to know I do not oppose my brother willingly. That it is difficult. We were gonna talk biz, specifics. Let us do so. Did you bring Soul Killer? As we agreed, you Finger would. Finger on the trigger, don't say a word. Of course I didn't bring Soul Killer. Afraid we don't know each other that well. You prefer to keep your guard up. Understandable, but unnecessary. We are here because I know how to save your life. I can lead you to Mikoshi. Meaning? Mikoshi don't exist in real space. Yet its access points do. And one is very near. Where? Here in Night City, beneath 
Arasaka Tower. We ought to leave. Right now. Wanna leave? What gave you that idea? Quit button in so I can hear her out. This is gonna be a disaster. Sit. We have little time. And you'll help me in exchange for... My brother. You catch a whiff of that? Smells like shit. Careful not to step in it. He must be made to take responsibility for his deeds. It sounds like dirty laundry. Family matter. Why should I get involved? You already are. You willed it so. Hmm. How you plan to do this? Yorinobu. Hanako-sama. Soro-soro gojitaku ni omodori itadaite. Sugu ni sumu wa. Yorinobu will soon call a meeting of the board. Representatives of all factions are expected to attend. The perfect moment for them to learn the circumstances of my father's death. I will get you into this meeting, and you will testify against my brother. Testify? Listen, mind if I'm straight with you? Help me get rid of Yorinobu. I will help you get rid of the construct. Don't like this at all. Sounds like you want to use me. No. I simply op and not the I will first need to, to return try. to this, but what if I am the last? You cannot take that chance. Let's fly the fuck out of here. V, do you feel all right? Huh? You are bleeding. It seems you are running out of time. Don't delay. Make your decision. No worries about that. You could use some air right now. <coughs> I warned you. What? What are you doing? Showing you what it's like to feel fucking trapped. Asked you, warned you, but you've insisted I'm not giving a shit. Now this porcelain cunt's gonna use you in her fancy scheme. I haven't agreed to anything But yet. I know you still don't understand how these leeches operate. She met you face to face. She revealed her plan. She sunk her teeth deep into you. Not gonna be able to pry yourself out. Well, you could ask the Aldecaldo to lend a hand. Listen, I know you and Pan Am got a thing going. I get it. I do. But that's what makes it such a shitty idea. You don't want to rope her into this. Made the same mistake myself once. Johnny. Great, you checking out again? What? Am I? No, it's not what you think. Not yet, anyway. Be easy there. Don't move just yet. Vic? You're in pain, I know. Delirious when you arrived, so I had to dose you with beta haloperidol. But light oversensitivity is a good sign. It means your optic nerves aren't damaged. How... How'd I get here? Dragged yourself here, beat to hell and back. Gave Misty a hell of a fright. Then you shoved my patient at the time off the table and demanded you be treated immediately. Talamint was your guardian angel. Huh? I, uh, wasn't completely myself. Yeah, I know. And that's a bit worrying. Just give it 
to me straight, Vic. You've come to a critical juncture. Try sitting up carefully. Okay. Don't expect a miracle. Ah. Slowly. Ah, another victory for the history books. it up all right but I can tell you don't have good news how much longer is this going to go on you tell me looking at you not long at all next attack you won't be able to crawl back here you'll flatline in some back alley this is your last chance to take matters into your own hands. Understand? Yeah, I know. Thoughts on where to start? Jesus, again. Do I have to spell it out? It's in your hands, not mine, and not those of that thing in your head. Now, see that setup over there? Yeah, what about it? You'll find a last dose of pseudo-endotrizin there. A gift from Misty. Want to give in to the voices in your head? Go ahead. Take a puff. Go silent. Get out. Or find another way. End things on your own terms. Got a little present for me over there, too. Blockers. Manage to walk those few yards to the table. The rest will be up to you and you alone. On your own terms, huh? Really subtle there, Doc. Give it a f Johnny. It's my decision. And I gotta think about it. Need to stretch your noodle? noodle? Fine. Fine. Just not, it's in, not this in this basement. V, Christ, you're talking out loud. Oh, out loud? What? Just go fix this thing. Uh, can't thank you enough for all you've done, Vic. Oh, I wish I could have done more. Let's make go sure to get out of here first. I want to close up. Take the meds and do what you gotta do, V. Thanks, Vic. I will. And you hang in there, too. Good luck, kid. Hey, V, I heard... Well... Your thoughts? Shouldn't have had to. Sorry about that. No need to be. I know what's going on. And I know it won't be easy. For either of you. If you don't want to decide here, I know a much better place. Sure, lead the way. Why is this spot special? I took Jackie there once. It's not far. Jackie? What's he got to do with any of this? You'll see. Come on. Glum face. Who, Jack? This is it, Chica. I'm done for. Doesn't sound like the Jackie I knew. That was a long time ago. His mom had just found out he'd signed up with the Valentinos. Trust me. Senora Wells on one shoulder, your gang Chumbas on the other. No choice can ever seem right. Mm -hmm. Life wasn't easy for my Jackie, but. He found the courage to bet on himself. After. 
I brought him here. Ah, that's more like it. Air. See that? I come here when I need to get away. Be alone with my thoughts. She's on to something. Ought to sit, mull through some shit yourself. Be alone with my thoughts. Near on unachievable these days. So what... What did Jackie decide of here? Oh, you know. Gonna be a legend in this city. And I'm gonna leave you alone now. Take your time. Scared me, know that? Thought you were on your way out. No, I'm still here. For now. You know, should call anyone you want to say goodbye to. Worst case scenario. How would you expect? No. But whatever you decide, risk's gonna be high. If things don't go our way. Try to do it. Anyone you gotta talk to, now's the time. Pills can wait. It's that, and only that. Mm. Hey. Pan Am, hey. Do you know what time it is? S sorry to wake you this late. Is that why you called? To apologize for interrupting a good night's sleep? Something... Something I gotta do today. Gonna be high risk. Big time, but I have to. What is it? It's not for comms. Not really. Then shut up and tell me where you are. In the city? Yeah. Okay, then plant your butt somewhere and wait. I'm on my way. You don't get it. I... I can't wait anymore. This has something to do with what you were telling me before? It does. Well, I'll say one thing. There's always a way out. Here's what you need to do. You need to take a few deep breaths. Then rethink all this. Hard. And then you can call me back. Do you know why? Because I am here for you. But... End of discussion. Well played. Wouldn't let me get a word in edgewise. Probably for the best. Would have said too much anyway. Was good you called. Wish I'd had the chance to. Come a long way to get here, haven't we? Just think, it all started in a fucking landfill. Mm -hmm. Then you tried to kill me. Exactly what I mean. Here we are now, together, soaking in this vista of Night City. My only regret's that I won't get to see how it all ends. Geez, thanks. Got that little faith in me? Not in you. In the rest of them. Listen. Wanna trust Pan Am and her tarmac rats? Fine. But it'll be their lives weighing heavy on your soul. And if you take Arasaka's deal, well, you'll have your own soul on your conscience. Try to ask Pan Am for help. You absolutely sure? No going back on this, you know.
trust her more than any of your iron for hire chumbas. Have it your way. Could be my last ride, this. If it don't work out, uh... Just want to be there for it. Where? Just me now. Ready to talk? Ready. I'm glad to hear that. So tell me. Need a way into Arasaka Tower. Now. Sorry, what? I'm serious. Whole thing with Johnny? I don't do something soon. I'm done. Gone. Slow down. First, why Arasaka Tower? The tech. Underneath that tower, they got an access point to... Well... Odd as it sounds. A prison of souls. A prison of souls? No. This might not fly over the hollow. Makoshi. That's its name. Only place Johnny and I can disentangle for good. It's my last chance. So, again, just to be clear... You've called me at High Moon to ask me to help you break into Arasaka Tower, or you'll die. About the gist of it, yeah. Okay. What? Okay. Where are you? Vic's clinic. The Ripper? Right, I know where it is. Can you hold off on dying for a bit? Give it a shot, sure. Good. Don't go anywhere. I'm coming to get you. Is that you, V? Or... Yeah, it's me. So, what now? Wait for my driver. Come inside. We'll wait together. Who do we have here, huh? you have to wait. Mind if I give you a reading? Sure, why not? Some believe uncertainty is an evil that should be dispelled through divination. Others claim it's change that is evil. But that isn't true either. Every minute of every day, we each become someone new. We shouldn't fear change itself, but only who we might change into. Knowing one's path is most important. I devised this layout especially for you and Johnny. Your future is his future, and vice versa. Okay, I'm ready. We'll start with you, V. The Fool. <laughs> what a surprise. Let's dig deeper to find its meaning here. The Fool symbolizes the start of a journey, the announcement of something new. It's the inner child, curious of the world, but also naive and reckless. <laughs> Sounds a lot like the V I first met. The Magician. A person of great talent and charisma. A leader. Sounds like Johnny. The card is reversed. That can mean a tendency toward addiction, mental instability. Okay. Definitely, Johnny. He is one great disturbance. The final cards are about your futures. The lovers. <laughs> Something that doesn't give me the chills, finally. Balance, friendship, love. Uh -huh. V, have you been keeping something from me? Huh? 
What? Why? You're making a strange face. I, uh... <clears throat> no. I'm fine. Okay. And Johnny's? The moon. Well, it doesn't sound too bad, right? I don't know, V. The moon is mystery. <laughs> I think that's for you. Yep. No mistake in that ride ever. You scared me, you know that. Didn't think anything could scare you. Hey. We're here to help, okay? Come on. Everybody's waiting at camp. Look out for yourself, V. You too, Misty. Thank <coughs> Welcome back to the living. You feeling okay? Um, I guess. Mighty good to hear. You had us worried back there. You passed out and we couldn't shake you awake. It sure does seem like your uh, condition might be getting worse. Pan Am asked me to keep an eagle eye on you. Where'd she go? She's off debating Saul. You need help, that's clear. They sat right down to figure out how we might do that. Come on, I'll take you to see him. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for the next part. Thank you and goodbye.